Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from EcoPoint. Today, I want to discuss with you guys the concept of rank of a given matrix. So when we talk about rank for any matrix, there are two things that you should actually be aware of. There is something called row rank and something called column rank. Now, what is the meaning of row rank? What is the meaning of column rank? Well, row rank means the number of maximum number of linearly independent rows. On the other hand, column rank means the maximum number of linearly independent columns. Interestingly, the number which you will get for row rank will be the same as the number that you get for column rank. And this number is called rank for any given matrix. Now, how to actually find out the rank for any given matrix? Well, the easiest way is to use row operations. What you can do is the given system that you have, you can reduce it by using row operations and convert it to a system which is which contains linearly independent rows. That's the easiest thing. Let's consider a matrix. Say one, two, three. 1, 5, 9, 2, 4, 6. Now let's use row operations and reduce this. Reduce this as in just try to simplify it and whatever is the non-linear part in this matrix that will go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an upper triangular matrix here. So I'm going to make 0, 0. So that I can do by using two operations at the same time. R1 goes, R2 goes to R2 minus R1 and R3 goes to R3 minus twice of R1, which gives us the following matrix. So 1, 2, 3 as it is. You'll get a 0 here, you'll get a 0 here. Now, what is happening is that you will get a 3 here what will happen is that you will get a 6 here. Now, you are subtracting twice. So, you're getting 0 here. You're getting 0 here because 4 minus 4 will give you 0 and 6 minus 6 will again give you 0. So, what we have is just with using the row operations one time, this was a very simple case that I have. Now, I have linearly independent rows with me. From this system, what we realize that this row and this row, they're linearly independent because, you know, you cannot make the second row zero by using any row operation. The row that you could make zero is now the bottom most out here. So what is the row rank for this matrix? You will say that the row rank is actually two. In fact, not just row rank, the rank for this matrix is two of rank of any matrix has a lot of consequences. It can be uh, very helpful to us. I would like to share one result with you guys out here and that result pertains to solutions and rank. So when we are trying to solve a system of equations, we look into an augmented system, right? And you also have your coefficient matrix. So what we do is we compare the ranks of the two. Let's consider a system of equations where you have m equations in n variables. So if you have this kind of a system of equations, you, for example, can write down your e system of equations in the augmented form A augmented B, right? Where A is the coefficient matrix, right? Now suppose that rank of the coefficient matrix is say R. Rank of the coefficient matrix is R. Now, depending on what is the rank of your augmented system. Now, depending on what is the rank of the augmented system, you can actually tell about this kind of solution the system of equations will have. If R is equal to N, that is, it is a full rank, okay? It is a full rank and there wasn't any linearly dependent part, okay? Then that would mean 
you have a unique solution. On the other hand, if R, the rank, is less than N, there are two possibilities. There is a possibility of infinitely many solutions and there is a possibility of no solutions. If the system is consistent, which I've already taught you what consistency means. If the system is consistent, then this will give you infinitely many solutions. If the system is inconsistent, then you will get no solution, which is something that I'm going to further talk about in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.